Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, fix up a little issue that a couple of people have been having with the uh, the add XP functions um, all the way back from Tutorial 4 in the RPG series. So it's really a, it's a pretty simple fix, and the problem that people are having, um, and I mean that I'm having too, I mean it's just a flaw in how I set it up. Uh, yeah, the problem is that if you add XP that um, results in increasing the player's level two times or you know just greater than one time at once then the system kind of fails so we're gonna go ahead and look at uh, fixing that so it's really pretty easy um, all we're gonna do is go into our character here okay and we're gonna go find the add XP function all right and you'll see right up here um, this is everything that we have uh, originally so this should all look um, very similar to you. So we're just going to add a couple quick little fixes here that um, you know will will make it work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, delete this part for right now, and we're going to move all this over. Okay, I'm going to break this link by alt clicking, and then we're going to delete the branch. So quite literally, all we need to do is take this little conditional check here and run it through a while loop. All right hook this up. I'm just gonna space things out a little better. Okay, and then we're, we'll take the loop body, connect it to the set current XP. Okay, and then finally we will take the current XP. So we'll say get current XP, and then we want to get our needed XP, and we want to get the difference between these two. So we'll do a float minus float, plug this in, hook it up, and then everything else should still be the same. All right, and then on completed, well, you really don't have to do anything off of completed, but um, we're gonna go ahead and just do a little debugging message just so you can see um, kind of what's what's happening. All right, so I'm gonna get the player level. I'm gonna run this through so we can test it out and you know see that his level is increasing, um, you know, more than, or that it increases correctly now, basically. Okay, so that's really all the setup that you have to add. Just add that while loop and this little um, subtraction. And basically the way it'll work, right, is when you add XP, you know, it adds it and then it sets the current XP. And then it checks if our current XP is greater than or equal to the amount of XP you need to, uh, you know, level up. All right, so if it is, then it'll run through the loop body here. And, you know, it'll subtract from the current XP, the needed XP, okay? and then set the current XP to that result, increase the player's level, add a skill point, and then increase the needed XP. Okay, now once that loop is done, it will go back and reevaluate this part, right? It'll check again if current XP is greater than or equal to needed XP. So if it is again, it will just run through um, this loop and it will continue to do that until this condition fails. So as soon as it fails, or as soon as this becomes false, this completed node will get executed and then that's all that really happens. All right, so to test this out, we'll go to the event graph and I'm just gonna add uh, the one key. Okay, and we'll drag off and say add XP. So I'll show you, you know, just three different ways that it's kind of working. So for right now, we'll just add like 75. So compile that, we'll go ahead and press play. All right, so if I press one, you see it adds, um, you know, experience points, and it just told us that our player's level is one, and that's the default, right? So that's what it should be. So now if we press it again, our player level is two, now it's three, and I keep adding XP, four, five, etc. All right, so now let's add 150. So that should level us up right away to level two, okay? So we press play. Oops, I did it way too fast, sorry. Um, I just press one once, and now we're level two. Okay, now let's go ahead and just add like an obscene amount of experience, 250,000. Let's say you just beat the game and you just got all the experience. All right, so we'll go ahead and press play now. And now when we press one, it should set our player level to something pretty high. All right, so it set it to 12. So you can see there that it's now working um, and that our, you know, our bar here is still scaling correctly. Okay, because as you increase levels, you know, the needed XP continues to get larger. All right, 
So thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, like or subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.